Hello everyone, welcome to Court with Chrissy. If you're looking for some baby mama drama in your life, meet Mama Nia and be sure to stick around until they're off the record. I hope you like it. Court with Chrissy is now in session. All right, Eric Elder versus Nia Key. Yes, you are. All right, I need you to unmute uh -huh. Key. I need you to unmute as well. Unmute. Miss Nia Key, I need you to unmute. I can't hear you. I, I need you to unmute and open your video. Miss Key? Yes? I need you to, you need to go somewhere first where you can hear me. Okay, I can hear you. I need you to unmute and now I need you to open your video. Okay. I'm right here, Yana. All right, you filed a petition for modification of custody and child support. Yes, Your Honor. Child Xavier Key. Yes, ma'am. Okay, Xavier Key is currently living with whom? He's living with his alleged father. All right, please both of you raise your right hand. Do you solemnly swear or affirm that the testimony you're about to give in this case is the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, so help you God? Yes. Yes, Your Honor. All right, Miss Key, you may present your case. Well, Xavier has been with Eric uh, when my mother dropped him off at twenty in twenty eighteen. Due wow. to me being due to me being homeless, uh, per juvenile court of Fulton County, he has been using that to keep me away from my son. Uh, it was a temporary custody order. Uh, from 2018. He has been using that to keep me away from my son. And uh, uh, the reason why I want my son with me is because he's been retained since he's been over there. Eric has allowed his neighbors to regulate my son without his supervision and my approval because of some reason or another. I've been disrespected by his neighbors and I don't even know who they are talking to my son at, in, at this incident. And it's probably been going on, Your Honor. Okay. Um, I have not been invited to any of my son's promotions, uh, anything having to do with school. Basically, Eric has been uh, zero when it comes to uh, co-parenting, if that's what he wants to do. And uh, as far as he's been using this, this temporary custody paper from Fulton County uh, from 2018. I, I'm not the reason that my son is over there. My mother, uh, I was incarcerated in DeKalb County at this time uh, when they had the hearing and uh, school was about to start. To be brief on everything, school was about to start and she separated my kids basically in DeKalb County. So, that's what Eric has been uh, basing this whole situation on is the temporary custody that he received from Fulton County. I have petitioned Fulton County uh, for that situation, and they said they can no, they're going to dismiss the case because he does not he's a he's not a resident of Eric is not a resident of Fulton County. Okay, so that's why I'm here today again to get my son home because Eric for one, does not want to share my ch share my ch my child with me. I'm on the birth certificate. I bought my son home in DeKalb County. I put him up for child support when my son turned one year old and they gave me child support for my son in 2011 um, in DeKalb County. I, I'm, I, was, I was the custodial parent. The non-custodial parent was him and I was the custodial parent. 
So this this situation with Fulton County, this what this is what's been going on. I have not even picked my son up to spend any time with him from age eight. Now he's four, he just turned fourteen, and this is what I have to deal with with Eric. And this is um I have my son on my line. I have my son on my phone. He has blatantly disrespected me while I've been on on a uh, conversation with my son, telling me, you know, threatening me if I come get my son, it's gonna be a situation. Uh, you know, all kinds of stuff with Eric. It has not been healthy for my son, basically. He's been surviving over there. All right, thank you, Mr. Elder. Your Honor, um, uh, I know you don't know, but Miss he suffers from untreated mental health issues. She uh, was diagnosed with bipolar schizophrenic. Uh, I've been I was granted custody by the Fulton County Court for my son. She was incarcerated at the time when they granted me uh, custody. Miss Key doesn't have any of her kids. Her two daughters live with her mother, and I was given custody of my son. Uh, it's just been ongoing disrespect for Miss Key since I've had my son. Um, she got to fighting with my neighbor. She was arrested. Uh, she constantly disrespects my mother. She uh, fought her mother twice. She fought her mother in the Fulton County Juvenile Court lobby, jumped on her. She fought her in at her house. I mean, it's just been an ongoing situation with Miss Key. Um, my son, they're tired, Your Honor. They're they're tired of going through all they just they just want their mom to get help. And she doesn't want to get any help for her issues. My son I'm is sorry, doing Your Honor. My son is doing wonderful in school now. He's um uh, A B on the road student. Mr. I just Mr. Elder. Uh, Mr. Elder, one moment. Ms. Marshall? Yes, ma'am. We lost Miss Key. Oh, she's coming back in now. She's back, Your Honor. Okay. You need to unmute. Sorry. Okay, Mr. Elder, the yes. the um the, the document that you have for custody, is it from Fulton County and is it what type of custody is it? They granted me temporary custody, Your Honor. Okay. Was it is that Fulton County? Yes, ma'am. And um and was that in Superior Court? It was in um Fulton County Juvenile Court. All right, and Ms. Key, did you file your modification in Ju have, County Juvenile Court? I have, Your Honor, and he dismissed it because Eric is a resident of DeKalb and not Fulton. So that's why I did you file it under the case DeKalb. number? Did you file it under the case number that you have in Fulton County? Yes, I filed in Fulton County and the judge dismissed it based on Eric. I he, told me I should file where Eric is a resident. So that's what I did. Okay. And you're filing. And I've done this. And you're I've done this plenty of years. It's been back and forth, you know, and uh, nothing has been done about this situation, Your Honor. 
Okay. They've been in DeKalb County. That's where the case started. I don't know if it's a statute of limitations over there. He's had my son since 2018, going on six years. Okay. And oh, then, no. and I'm, in I'm those sorry. six just, years. I just need to stop here. Um, Mr. Elder, your position is, is that Ms. Key is mentally unstable and has, and, it, and has, you said, been Yes, gotten. ma'am. It's documented in Fulton County. She had to go see a psychiatrist in Fulton County until they diagnosed what was wrong with her. And the doctor stated that she's bipolar schizophrenic. Did they indicate that she's a danger to the child? Well, she, that I don't know, but she shows, her action shows, like, when my son was in elementary school, she pops up, she jumped, come out the bushes at 6.40 in the morning, grabbed my son by the arm. He had to snatch away from her to run home, you know, and it's like constantly, like, she just, uh, it, it's, it's ridiculous. I mean, enough is enough. I can't hear him. She she just she I won't get any, he's saying. she won't get any treatment she won't get any help Ms. for Key. her issues. I can't hear what he's gonna saying. Have, you're gonna have to get a different mode. All of a sudden, it's messing up on every. It won't. So it, it it doesn't matter. We're not gonna proceed today anyway. I'm gonna have to get a guardian ad litem um, involved in the case because it sounds like Miss Miss Key, are you asking for custody or are you asking to have some visitation? No, ma'am. I'm asking for full custody like I had before. Oh, okay. Yo, definitely. I home, mm -hmm. For one, uh, Your Honor, I bought my son home in DeKalb County. Eric well, yeah. is not even on the birth certificate, Your Honor. Your Honor, okay. he doesn't have anywhere to Only stay. Thing, he don't even have a stable home, Your Honor. Ms. Key, do you, do you have how a house? How do you know that? We're on no contact, Your Honor. How does he know my circumstances? Ms. Key, do you have a house? I have a place to live i'm sorry i have a place to live i don't live i don't even live in georgia your honor okay <laughs> so, one how does he even know because how do you even know my business because we're on we've been on no contact your honor we've been on a, a no contact since we've been on no contact since 2019 when Ms. he set me up to come over there and fight his friend, Ms. we've been on no ca contact for um five years. Yes, sir. Yes, Your Honor. Because of the circumstances that have been presented to the court, the fact that you don't even live here in the state, the fact that there's a order giving Mr. Elder the child based upon mental health, there's nothing I can to do right now. As a result, he, he needs documents until I have a guardian. He needs in order to have a guardian at litem, they'll make contact with you. You will have to pay for a guardian at litem so that the court will have an understanding of your current situation. Do you understand? And like, I said, and like I said, y'all, this is court, this, this is documented right. in Fulton County Court. Her mother. Can, buy, can tell you the same thing. I, I'm not making this up, and she knows this. Okay. Do you understand that, Miss Key? This this don't have to do with her. This is talking about. I hear you, Your Honor. He's bringing somebody else. Don't even have nothing to do with my case. So, Miss Mister Elder, does the child have any contact with Miss Key? Like maybe even phone contact with her? Yes, and when he talks to her. It's constantly negativity. All she talks about is worrying about what what I got, what I'm doing, what I got going on. I mean, she's constantly bashing my mother. She's talking about her mother. It's ne it's never nothing positive when it comes to her on the phone with my son. And how old is your son? He's fourteen. Okay, fourteen. Okay, so. We'll, what we'll do is um, we will put a guardian ad litem in place um, so that I can understand the background of the case because we need to get these records from Fulton County and I can understand 
um, the background information. We'll also interview the 14-year-old once we get the guardian ad litem in place. Um, the guardian ad litem will have the opportunity to do that. But because we have this mental health issue and also concerns about Ms. Key's living arrangements, those things will have to be flushed out. But in order to get in a guardian ad litem, Ms. Key, that guardian ad litem is going to have to charge because that, that guardian ad litem has to come where you are. Where, where are you currently living? What you need to unmute. You need to unmute, Miss Key. You need to unmute. I've been having problems. Can I just close that? Because I've been having problems with Eric stalking me, even oh, though we have oh. another. I want to disclose that under. I, um, I need to know the state under, that you're in, Miss Key. I will. I will, but can I disclose that with you in private because I don't want him uh continue the state. That's not where you live. I'm in, Florida. I'm in Florida, Your Honor. Okay. Do you currently work? Yes, I do. How much month how much do you make monthly? Monthly I make like from Roughly 25. Okay. Um, so you to get a guardian ad litem in place, I, I don't know if a guardian ad litem in the, the CAB um, Volunteer Foundation will um, be able to provide you one without you having to pay. But particularly because you're in Florida, that might cause a either greater issue. You might have to pay out of pocket. Do you understand that? I understand, Your Honor. All right. All right. So for now, I'm going to reschedule it um, so that we can put a guardian ad litem in place. Um, Thank you, Your Honor. And any fees related to the guardian ad litem is key. You'll be responsible for, okay? Thank you, Your Honor. If you do not make those guardian ad litem fees, then there is nothing Father the court is going to do, and I'm going to close the file. Do you understand that? I understand. All right. Thank you. Y'all take care. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you. That motherfucker is stupid. <laughs> uh, Mr. Elder, you're still on. See? That's what I'm saying. Mm, mm, mm. See that? All right. Go ahead and... Um, yeah, you can go ahead and leave now. Thank you. Okay. Thank you, Your Honor. <laughs> See that?